is Escape from Tarkov. A very punishing experience at times. And bounce back we did, because we kind of lost all of our stuff to the dorms. So I found all these keys here, and I was just like, yeah, sure, why not? I'll go to dorms, and I can probably find some good stuff in any of these doors here. But didn't find anything, just ended up getting shot in the face multiple times, lost all my stuff, had to rebuild it back up. And you might also say that uh, it's kind of full, maybe a little too full. That's okay, because I am working on the stash upgrade, which is what I assume will upgrade how much room I have within my stash, so we do have that. And then I thought, what was a better way to get over my losses than just to go back to dorms while also doing this mission, so we're doing that. Okay. Not really a good spawn, I don't think. Okay, so I am kind of quite nervous about this one, honestly. Mostly because of how bad I did get destroyed last time, so... Just kind of hoping that doesn't happen again. I mean, I just have to find a way to get the dorms now. I mean, I got my Zox case. With the keys in it that I need, so... That's already a good sign that I remembered that. That's good. One step at a time, I guess, right? And I guess I'll just have to uh, head to the corner and make my way around. And hopefully not have to die to those guys. Because <sighs> when I say I got beat pretty bad, they they beat me down pretty good uh, when I was going to dorms. I just I just found all these keys and I never used keys before, so I just I wanted to use them in uh, See if I could get anything good from them, but I guess other people had other plans. Uh, I mean, I guess they had the same plans, which is use their keys to get the good stuff. I guess that's just not that ain't that ain't me. If you know what I'm saying, I'm not I'm not there yet. Which is fine, you know. I'm I'm making my way sooner or later. I'm just, I'm just still not good at uh, deciding on what I should do, you know? When I hear somebody in my building or something like that, I'm not, I'm still not really sure how I should be reacting, you know? That's probably one of my main problems. Because <laughs> a lot of the times I just kind of uh, stand there. Which really doesn't really help my case a lot. Because <laughs> I guess it's uh, pretty easy to track someone's movements if they're not really making any movements. I mean, you know, I'm trying. I mean, <laughs> like, I just... There was just this storm of agony that I was having to go through. Like... Those clips at the beginning were just like, that was just me for like one night of playing. I don't know what was with that one night, but man, it was just, it wasn't kind to me, that's for sure. Like one of those clips, I had a tank battery. I was like lugging around. Kind of sucked that I wasn't able to get that, because that would have been, that would have been nice. Yeah, the, I mean, the tank battery would have been nice just because uh, that's one of the items I need to upgrade my, like, safe container or whatever they call it. I 
the scabbard. Where'd he go? Oh. I kind of assumed he was in here. Yeah, sometimes scabs are just absolutely cracked, and other times they are just the worst. Uh, like, they're even worse than I am at this game. <laughs> and that's saying something. Because I'm definitely not good yet. I think I'm getting there, but I still don't know what's good, what's bad, and... My aim is still terrible. <laughs> I mean, that's probably priority number one, is to get better at shooting people. I guess no matter what kind of gun or ammo I have, I need to actually hit somebody with something, am I right? Okay, well, I don't know where that scab went, so... That's probably okay, right? I don't need to keep track of my enemies. They need to keep track of me. I'm the dangerous one. I mean, it's probably for the best that I'm this far away anyway. Just so maybe... There won't be any large threats in dorms while I get there. Or I might run into somebody on the way in the woods. That's also a distinct possibility. Okay. Yeah, you guys have fun. I'm going to go this way. Maybe I'll take that just in case. I kind of need to make money any way I can anyway. Because I kind of had a lot of money before I started going downhill. And I, I okay, I guess I kind of spent a lot of money on certain things too. Like that gun box. Which was kind of, maybe kind of dumb with a certain perspective. Because I'm only just now upgrading like my stash in general as far as how big it is. So I probably should have done that before resorting to buying the gun box, if you know what I'm saying. I guess I, I didn't really think about it. But you know, you live, you learn, right? And boy, am I, am I learning. There's a lot to learn. I mean, whatever, whatever works, I guess, right? It might have cost me a lot, but I still had quite a lot of money after that anyway. Like, maybe not quite a lot. I think I had, like, another two million. Which isn't a whole lot, but, I mean, it's... You can live off of it. I mean, I can. Gotta live off the land. I always hear stuff like that. I mean... I guess maybe that wasn't a person. Hmm. Yeah. I already have, like... I think I already have one of those. Uh, I think those go for a lot, but I'm not really too worried about it. If I die this time, I guess I die. I mean, I'll try to prevent it, but, you know. Sometimes it's just not possible. And also, I only have, like, two of those CMS kits, so... Another thing that I do that I probably should stop doing, stop making a habit of, is uh, I always hear suspicious noises, and I always chalk it up to me being an idiot, but then it always turns out to be a person, so I probably need to stop doing that. Like I, I, I'll hear a shuffle, like, maybe in like a next room over or something like that, and I'll just chalk it up to, I don't know, a random noise or something like that. And I just kind of go up my, go about my business, and then I get obliterated. So 
That probably doesn't help me. Huh. I don't think I want that anyway. I mean, basically what I'm learning so far is I'm, that I'm still doing a lot of things wrong. But I guess there's always room for improvement, right? Because I don't struggle with, like, it sucks to lose stuff. Of course it does, but, uh... I get over it, you know. My main problem is actually just getting good at the video game, you know. That's my main problem. Because uh, I used to have, like, Gear of Fear. Quite a lot of it, actually. Like, uh, back when I played, uh, Last Wipe. But then again, I didn't really play that much. But I kind of got over that now. Okay, it's weirdly quiet. Man, this is really weird. And I shouldn't... I shouldn't call it so soon, but I don't know. Just go immediately up to uh, the third floor. Oh, okay. All right, so somebody's been here. Is this the, is this where I need to be? I don't even know. Three. Uh oh. Oh, it's still here. I guess maybe they can't pick it up. Okay. Well, that was easy. That was definitely lackluster. I kind of just, I kind of assumed I would be uh, in there a little while longer. I guess it's not. I'm not out of the woods yet. <laughs> Uh, that joke would work a little bit more if I was actually in woods, but, I mean, it's not good anyway. I still need to deliver this to, I guess, right there, right? Pretty sure that's where I need to go. And I'm pretty sure after this, this key should also be useless. Is everybody? This is kind of weird. Oh wait, what? Do I not? Do I not have the key for that? Uh. Is this not? Frick. I kind of thought that was it. Or does it need to be, like, in my hand? I don't think it does. Or, like, here? I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. I guess I'll try it, or... Oh, crap. Uh... I don't even know where that guy's shooting me from. Okay, I think I'm getting a little bit of information. Okay, maybe not enough. Man, he's shooting me from like a mile away. What's going on here? And is this just not the right place? Uh, frick. I might need to like look this up or something. Should I just do that right here? Oh, 
Oh, this is not... Not a good time. Sorry. I don't think that was a guy anyway. Oh man. I'm not even close to where I need to be. Frick, it's like on the other side of the map. someone else walking there, but I don't know if that's a person. Okay, it's still kind of hard to tell. Okay, I need to, I need to find a place to like sit for a second. That's not here. Man, I really should have looked. I should have known this. I should. I should have known it wouldn't be so simple. Uh. Okay, this place probably isn't as exposed. I mean, it's probably not good either. But I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, I probably should put that key back before I die with it. I shot a lot, a lot more than I thought I did. Whoa, uh oh. That's not a good sound. Ow! Do you know? How did you know? Jesus Christ. Frick. How did he know? That was a person, right? Man, I didn't bring enough ammo for this, apparently. Whew. Yeah, maybe I should have been a little bit more prepared for this. So I think I'll go back the way I came. Closer to dorms. That wasn't like a dude, was it? Okay, no, that's just a scout. How much time do I got left? Oh crap, not that much time. We do have crossroads though. We can we can probably leave at crossroads. I mean, it's somewhat close, I guess. As long as this is actually the right cabin this time, or security post, whatever the heck. And it does kind of suck, though, that I did die with that battery, too. Because it would really be nice to be able to store more than just four things in my container. Okay. Because that was one of the more... Uh, like higher selling points as far as like getting a better addition to the game. That was kind of before I realized that I could just get them in the game and not have to buy them if you know what I'm saying. Like without, like without real money. Or not having to waste it on real money. I mean it's kind of fun to like earn stuff anyway. So I don't really see it as that much of a big deal anyway. Especially with like a game like this, I feel like that's kind of like the point, is to like start from almost nothing to, I don't know, have something. I 
mean, that's why I find it fun, for the most part, at least. I really didn't think I was gonna. It was gonna take so long just for me to get that key. I mean, there's not really that much time left, and I'm, I'm still here. I didn't think I would still be in this raid so long. gonna complain too much. There wasn't an army of PMCs in the dorm, so I mean, I'll take that as a win. Because that was an interesting time, is that there were... Like, there wasn't actually an army. Well, okay, an army. There's like three guys. And, uh, one of them was calling up to me, and he was like, alright, man, we're good, we're cool. And I was like, uh-huh. And he pulled out his knife, he walked out to me. Oh crap, there's something in there. And he was just saying that he wanted to like... Oh. What is this? Uh... Don't know what that is. Probably unrelated to what I'm doing, right, Shirley? <laughs> uh... But yeah, he was, he was calling up to me, he just wanted to do something and it was just him. But he did tell me he had other friends with him. Uh, and he went to go do his thing. And I went to go, like, hide in another room, of course. Because, of course, you can't trust three other dudes, right? Even though that doesn't really stop me. I mean, I'm pretty naive in that fact. Where I'm like, yeah, sure, man, I'll trust you. <laughs> I probably need to get better at not doing that. But, yeah, he went to go do his thing. The second guy seemed cool. Didn't see the other guy. So I kind of peeked my head around the corner, and he just kind of hit, biffed me. So it turns out, two cool guys with one not-so-cool guy. I don't know. But then again, I guess maybe... Maybe the first guy said something about one of his friends not speaking English, so maybe that, uh... Are you kidding me? Is that door open already? Is someone really... I feel like someone... I'm following somebody. Like, someone's doing the same task as me. That kind of seems like what's going on here. Wait. Because, uh... The dorm's door was open, and now this dorm's open. Or, this door is also open, so... Definitely... Crap. I definitely feel like I'm, uh, following somebody. Or maybe not step by step, but... You know, we're doing the same quest, it seems like. Turns out I didn't need the key anyway, so that's fine. It's not like I spent any money on it. Because <laughs> he kind of just gives you this key uh, for the quest, so I'll take it. Why, is, why does it take so long to put a freaking lighter down? I would be in and out. I would, it would not take me that long to put something down. <laughs> okay, I'm just leaving. Um... Yeah, I mean, crossroads, right? I mean, see ya. If I can get out of here without a scratch, then... Okay, well, I got kind of scratched, but that's besides the point. Can I leave from there? I think I can leave from here, whatever this one's called. I think this one is... I think this one's just trailer park, right? I mean, either way, I mean, it doesn't matter because Crossroads is, like, right there, so. Uh. No. Okay, I guess I, guess I just need to go to Crossroads. That's fine. Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. Man, I really have been here for a, quite a while. I was literally 100. 100 energy, 100 thirst. I was fine. Man, I, I've, been, I've been running around, huh? I, I feel like I haven't been, though. I guess I'm not really used to running around as much on customs as I am on other maps like Woods. Nope, yep. 
That is not on the ground. <laughs> All sick? I mean, I'll take that. I'll take that easy win. I don't see why not. Okay. Well, since, uh, since we did the last mission so quick and easy, I figured we can come on here on Interchange and, uh, do a mission that both requires me to kill scavs and to go into the store here and find, well, stores. <laughs> and I haven't really... I haven't really been on this map before, so... Okay, well, I, I have been on this map before, but I've only been on the outside. I, I haven't really been on the inside all that much. So... This is all together going to be going to going to mean an interesting experience. Uh, I'm going to really need to take a look around, maybe get acquainted to my surroundings, at least before I get shot in the face. I mean, ideally, maybe I can take out like five scavs at least, and then like find maybe a couple or a few of the stores because I'm still not really good at fighting against people believe it or not I kind of just it's kind of a lot of chance and usually it's the odds are not in my favor so I don't want to I don't want to have another dorms experience as far as what happened before and yeah I, di I didn't really record that because I guess, number one, I'm not really good at thinking ahead. And number two, I didn't really think it was going to be as much of a uh, situation as it turned out to be. Because I thought it was just going to... Maybe it would take a couple of runs and I would be mostly in and out. But obviously that didn't really happen. It does look like there's a way in from here, so that's good. I don't know where people spawn or where scavs spawn or anything like that, so... If I walk into a stupid situation, then I guess I'll just end up blaming map knowledge on it. Hmm. I don't think I need a car battery. The tank battery is what I'm looking for to give the, what is it, Epsilon or Beta or whatever the frick it's called. The, the storage thing. Oh, that's a guy, all right. guy or not. I don't know. Is this a store that I need to be at? Okay, I feel like the guy I saw definitely was a person at this point. Don't know if that guy's a person though. Sorry. <laughs> that sucks. Man, I'm not used to finding people that are lower level than me. Uh oh. Okay, I probably I probably should have shot down that hallway and maybe maybe at least injured one of those guys, but I don't know. That probably wouldn't have, That probably wouldn't have ended very well for me. This guy is either. I'm just gonna run. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that's not good. 
these guys are on their way. I don't know if they know I'm here or not. And surely one of them saw me at the end of that hallway, right? And I don't know if that's scav shooting at me or not. Ah, oh, man, that kind of sucks. I didn't... Level two. Makes me, oh man, that's bad. I feel like this is another problem that I have. I always like have a lot of sympathy for like uh, for how. I mean, that might sound kind of stupid. I always have like a lot of sympathy for people in this game for some reason. Like I might get the upper hand and like because I I definitely got the upper hand on someone before, and then I kind of gave it away and I, I let, then I let them go. And then they, I'm pretty sure they are the ones that killed me. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess I shot at them first and all, but, you know. But still, I mean, I, I do kind of sympathize a little too much, so maybe that's that's the problem that I probably need to get over with. Okay. I don't know what it is, though. Definitely need to not do that as much. I mean, I guess, I mean, these people would pull the trigger on me just as fast, right? I guess. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure of the etiquette. I'm not sure of Tarkov etiquette. I mean, I try to be understanding at some points, but that doesn't really seem to, be, seem to pay off very, uh, very much, at least. thought I heard something. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. going crazy. I don't know if you heard that or not. It's probably just me tripping on my own shoelaces or something like that. I feel like that's definitely a possibility. Okay, let's see. Can I go in here? Aha! There we go. Okay, that's like one store out of like six or something like that, so it's progress, I suppose. Can't really argue with that. Maybe I should go upstairs. Yeah, because I don't think I've ever really successfully killed a scab boss, but then again, I guess I haven't really run into a scab boss before. Okay, maybe that's a lie. Oh, Jesus. Jesus Christ. I really... I let my guard down on that one, that's for sure. <sighs> Man, that, that could have been real bad for me. That's so freaking loud. Shut up. Please. I'm begging you. I can search this. I don't know. I don't really have anything on me. One scav, one store found. That's not really good, but I mean, I'm still alive, so I guess I'll take it. There's not really that much time left in the first place. Is that a firework? This fireworks? What the heck? Why? What's going on? Is it a party for me? Throwing me a surprise party? Hmm. What you looking at? The nothing that is down there? <laughs> Hey, 
Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just start to find my way out. Been closed. Is that one of the places? Uh, no. Man, I'm, this place is a maze, dude. It's just factory times twenty. And with less sledgehammer wielding maniacs. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting, but it, I mean, I guess for a start, maybe I was expecting a little bit more action. <laughs> Not that I could handle much more action, I guess. I don't know. Man, where the frick am I? Where's the way out? <laughs> Oh yeah, speaking of sledgehammer wielding crazy people, uh, I think that's like the one boss that I have run into. And yeah, he did beat me, beat the crap out of me with a hammer, so that was kind of sick. I mean, we didn't really accomplish a lot, but I mean, that's okay, I guess. I mean, I was kind of just scouting out the area in the first place for the for the missions and just for my own sake, I suppose. So I guess you can consider that an mission accomplished right there. Maybe next time we can be a little bit more confident with walking around, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, this place is so freaking massive, I mean, it might take me a couple more runs to uh, figure everything out. Yeah, I definitely saw that. That's probably an actual human, huh? I doubt a scav would be uh, out out there like that, because as far as I can tell, that's where the extract is. So I guess maybe that's just where he's going. It would be a shame if uh, he didn't make it there. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, he'll beat me there anyway. And even if he didn't beat me there, he would definitely kill me before I got there. Pretty sure this is the right way anyway. This, this looks right. I mean, I'm not the best with directions, but I would like to think that I'm not the worst either. Looks like you took somebody out, too. That guy's probably long gone, right? Looked like he, It looked like he was pretty determined to just get out of here. I'm still kind of suspicious that he might be still hanging around, though. I mean, ex extract campers for me don't really happen that often, but let's, I would like to keep it that way. Because if they did happen, and then I would, I would like to be ready for it. Okay. Well, that wasn't that guy. I don't like where I am right now. I wonder if that was a scav or not. I, know, I, th I thought I heard him say something in Russian, but I'm not really too sure about that. It was probably a scav, right? I mean, that'll add, a, that'll add a, at least one more uh, number to it. So a whole two. Two out of 25, I believe. Uh, yeah, that looks quite like a scab to me. Yeah. Is this bag bigger than mine? No, it looks like a player. Oh, yeah, this was definitely a player scab then. Kind of feels bad about that, but that's, you know, feel less bad about this than, uh, than I did about the other level, what, two player. Um, can't put, uh, I don't have the thing anymore. Um, 
brick. Hmm. I want these. And I guess since it's here, I guess I'll take that. Alright, good day, sir. Now, I've kind of been betting on the fact that's, that this is the way out. So, hopefully, we were right. Okay, yeah, we're right. <laughs> I guess some things do work out, and that's kind of crazy. I, I expected this to go horribly. <laughs> 